tend to grab ACLs to do it uh, orthoscopically and clean some stuff up, but still, you know, she's, she's not at 100%, she said. Nice speed grab to kick things off. Yeah, Roz said she's each day she's feeling a little better. There's a big 900 into the flare. That's a new move for Roz, I think. 540. Roz Gruno out. Not looking like she's taking too much time off snow here. Getting right after it, showing that she is here to contend. You know what's unique about her than the rest? She's our team that she wrote in school. How's that? She's a smart girl. Yeah, only 1% of college students get stuff published, and she is that 1%. So let's see what you got, Roz. Oh, yeah. nice big view grab right off the top from Roz. Straight into the 900. Oh! <laughs> I was, she took it that way down low in the transition there. I was not sure that she was going to ski out of that, but Roz holding it together here. Very similar run. Here comes the final hit to seven. Does she have it again? Very similar, Mike. She gets the seven down. I, I'm going to say I liked I liked her first run a little bit better. It's locked a little, a little tighter. Keep keep the form a little bit tighter. I think she could do it. Okay, those legs in check. Get the grabs in. Mike says like the mute grab right there. 900. Yeah, we landed really low in that wall there. And then, uh, as you can see, the amplitude falling off uh, uh, quite substantially as Roz moves her way down the course here. So I don't see this run, unless she pulls something crazy out here at the bottom, I don't see this run bettering the score that she put down earlier. But I tell you what, Roz is feeling very good having put down three good runs tonight. Yeah.